Hey, it's Kevin Connors, ESPN studio host and proprietor of KC's mid-major top 10. This is my bracket. Let's get going in the South region with an Alabama team that's had a lot of issues, but obviously they move on. No upset there in the first round. I love Eric Stevenson. Think he can carry West Virginia to a win. They get to play Alabama in the next round. Charleston, 31 wins, as many as any team in the tournament. But San Diego State's been at the top of the mid-major top 10 all year. They win that game. Furman shoots about as many three-pointers a game as anyone in college basketball. I think they move on there as well, beating Virginia. Elsewhere in the south, bottom half of the bracket. Creighton knocks off NC State despite Terquavia and Smith. Baylor avenges that opening round loss in the Big 12 tournament. They move on. We've been on Utah State all year long. Ryan Odom, a tremendous coach in a very tough conference there, the Mountain West. They win a game, and as much as I love Mitch Henderson in Princeton, Arizona takes care to get Utah State in the next round. Moving on to the East region, opening round play, Purdue, no problem, moves on. I think Memphis and Kendrick Davis find a way to win a game in the tournament despite a great year for Florida Atlantic. Duke and Oral Roberts. I love Oral Roberts. I love everything about Paul Mills' team. Obviously, Max A. Smith can carry a team. But this couldn't be a worse matchup for Oral Roberts. I think Duke, playing as well as anybody right now, finds a way to win. And Tennessee, despite the Zakai Ziegler injury, does get past Louisiana, a very good team, out of the Sun Belt Conference. Bottom half of the East region. Great opening round game, Kentucky and Providence. Love Ed Cooley in a big spot. The Friars win that game. Kansas State, boy, a lot of people are going to fall in love with this Kansas State team here. I saw them up close and personal in the Big 12 Conference Tournament. They're a really fun team to watch. That sets up a great matchup there. I'm not betting against Tom Izzo and Michigan State. And as great as Vermont has been dominating the America East here, Marquette finds a way to win that game. Top half of the Midwest region. Houston, Northern Kentucky. I love the Norse, but they're not taking down Houston here. Iowa-Auburn, really intriguing game. I don't love either one of these teams, but Iowa can score it better than Auburn. Give me the Hawkeyes. Drake is a team that I said before the field came out was going to win a game. Tucker DeVries, Darian DeVries, the head coach. Roman Penn, a point guard, really is a senior leader on this team. I've got Drake knocking off Miami. And Indiana-Kent State here. Give me a Kent State team that had all that drama last postseason here. Sincere carry and Kent State finds a way to get Drake in a great mid-major matchup in the second round. Iowa State, Mississippi State, I love, love T.J. Otzelberger and him on the sidelines as a coach. I got the Cyclones. Xavier, no problem here after looking good in the Big East tournament. Texas A&M wins a game here as well. Great year in the SEC. And Texas off the Big 12 championship takes down Colgate. And Matt Langle, who, by the way, is in for a big payday at a Power 5 school. Kansas, moving on. Arkansas, Illinois. Nick Smith Jr., we've been waiting all year. He's coming to the NBA next year. I think he finds a way to help Arkansas move on. St. Mary's, also at the top of Casey's mid-major top 10 all year, beats a good VCU team. UConn, Iona. I think the Gales are a good team, but not good enough to beat Danny Hurley and the Huskies. And then, Nevada, great story in the Mountain West. But TCU and Mike Miles can fly. I like the Frogs there. Love Walter Ellis and Fonz. Don't hold it against me, but they're not taking down Gonzaga. Boise State, another team in a really good Mountain West, wins a game in this tournament here. And UCLA, we'll talk a lot more about the Bruins coming up. Second round games in the South. Bob Huggins' run ends here. I got Alabama. San Diego State, Furman. Give me the Aztecs. Baylor finds a way to beat a Creighton team that's really talented, but just no depth. I got the Bears winning that one here. And again, I love the Aggies, but Arizona's size, too much of a factor. Second round games in the East. Purdue finds a way past Memphis. Tennessee, boy, if Ziegler's playing, and they can impose their style so well, but Duke is just too good right now. Kyle Filipowski finds a way to win that game. Providence, K-State. A lot of reasons to love K-State and Keontae Johnson. But Providence wins that game, and Marquette beats an undermanned Michigan State team. 
second round games in the Midwest. Houston, Iowa. Give me the Cougars all day. Drake, Kent State. Told you what I liked about Drake. They're moving on. Iowa State finds a way to get past Xavier. Texas wins the battle of the Longhorn State. And then Kansas, Arkansas. Kansas too good. St. Mary's, UConn. Tremendous game here. Aiden Mahaney, superstar player. But UConn knocks off the Gales. TCU, Gonzaga. I'm sticking with my guy, Mike Miles. Boise State, UCLA. The Bronx great ride comes to an end there. I've got UCLA. Third round games in the South. Alabama, San Diego State. Alabama, shaky. I don't love them, but they get to the next round here. Baylor, Arizona. I'm picking the Bears to win that game. Again, knocked out in the first round of the Big 12, but those guards are better than Arizona's guards. They win that game. Duke, Purdue. John Shire's ride continues. Providence and Marquette. I think Marquette makes it to the Elite Eight. In the Midwest, Houston and Drake. The ride comes an end, to an end here for the Dogs. Houston wins that game. Texas beats Iowa State. I got UConn stopping Kansas there and UCLA beating TCU. We are in the Elite Eight. Again, Baylor's guard play is a different, differentiating factor here. Alabama has been playing with fire for a long time here. I think Scott Drew finds a way to stop Alabama and beats them. Duke Marquette, the magical ride continues for John Shire. That's one Final Four matchup. Other side of the bracket. Houston will not be denied making it to the Final Four in their home city. UConn, UCLA, heavyweight showdown here. I love the Huskies, but I like Mick Cronin's team more. They advance to the Final Four, which takes us here. Baylor and Duke on one side. Again, Scott Drew's team has a ton of magic. Keontae George is going to be a lottery pick. But I just think Duke continues to find a way to make it to the championship game. Houston, UCLA, once upon a time, the biggest game in college basketball. It becomes that again. Houston's been great all year, but I just wonder if they can score it enough against a really, really tough UCLA team. No Jalen Clark, I understand, but I absolutely love the rest of this team, Jaime Hawkins, and what he gives them. And then Duke and UCLA for the national championship here. Two of the blue bloods of the game. UCLA finds a way to cut down the nets. The Bruins are your national champions.